Yo, what's up, guys? We are back from day one at Nats. We went X four, not the <laughs> round, not the uh, the outcome we wanted, but it's all good. It's all good, uh, honestly, guys. Uh, it for, it's gonna be our very first nationals ever attended. For to have one of the strongest archetype engines to ever come out in the history of Yugo and Fiendsmith be dropping the same day as Nats. That's not. That's pretty good. <laughs> I'll take it. That, that, that's not bad, all right? But this is what we put. All right, so we put the, the, the Senpai Tenpai strategy. Uh, we went two Pydras, three Chandra, one Fadra, two Genroku, and one Dora Dora. The, you got to play the homie. Um, but honestly, I don't think I really missed too much of it. Maybe the third Pydra came up uh, every now and then because I went to, got into a few grind games I did not want to get into, but... It's just what you're gonna have to run into playing this version. Uh, for the rest of the engine, three of the Sang and Summoning, uh, four, sorry, uh, three of the Sang Kaiman and one Duster in the main. Uh, and that's pretty much it as far as engine and, well, I guess you call this engine because it's in every single uh, Tenpai, uh, Tenpai deck. And the rest we just played straight hand traps, guys. 42 cards in the main, uh, three Imperm. Three Chummy, two Phantasmae. People call me crazy for this, a wild man, but it actually came up. It has some synergies that I thought were pretty cool. It's a level seven, it's free special summon. It's a dragon. Uh, I mean, uh, what else could you really want from uh, from a hand trap? Draws you two minimum, uh, which lets you draw into additional hand traps, so I thought it was really good. Actually came up really, really um, clutch a few times during the during the national so i think these are really really good overall just do additional draw cards also considering i'm a wild man for not draw, for not playing prosperity i'm absolutely crazy for not playing that card but we want to try something out try something new it is a new format so is this a list i'll be using moving forward i'm not exactly sure uh, i do think that prosperity and i missed my board breakers not gonna lie but this is honestly really really good for the event uh, also, we got to play three main deck shifter. I wanted to play hand traps that were going to just outright stop my opponent's turn, no matter which one I drew off Mulk Chummy uh, or shifter. Uh, we have Droll. We have Nib. Of course, these are straight turn enders as well. Uh, Imperm can be used, of course, as a, uh, as a board breaker also, so that was really good. Uh, three Veiler, three Ash, of course, we gotta respect Branded. Uh, also, Ash goes crazy in the mirror match. Who, pretty much whoever is able to Ash the, the Heavenly Spheres, it pretty much is gonna win that one, in my personal opinion. At least that's what happened, because uh, I went against four mirror matches. Yeah, four mirror matches, one, two, lost two. It is what it is, but that's pretty much what it <laughs> came down to. And the last two cards, the 41st and 42nd card, guys, we played one Bistial, uh, Magnuma, and one Druid Swin. Shout out to Jerry, the homie, for putting me on both of these in the main, not just the, the Magnuma. Both of these were absolutely phenomenal all, all day. Uh, that's it for 42 cards in the main for the extra guys. Uh, we'll go ahead and see two uh, Joe Biden dragons. <laughs> uh, Sleepy Joe. Two of the uh, Transcendent Dragon. I really, I was, I feared a uh, Cashier Unicorn. I feel like it was going to take my shit, so I want to make sure I play two of them bitches. Uh, Black Rose Dragon, best card. Moonlight Dragon, never summoned it. Meteor Burst, uh, Arise Meteor Burst Dragon, actually low-key really, really good. Uh, summoned it twice. Uh, Quibelt Dragon comes in clutch. Samurai Destroyer, never used it. Uh, Ruddy Rose Dragon, a card that a lot of people don't play, comes up each and every single locus I played this Nats did not come up. I only played against one snake eye, surprisingly. Only one snake eye the entire day and only one you belt. Uh, so I was really hoping to see a little bit more of it. Maybe this would have come up a little bit more, but yeah, I think it really just comes up to what you go up against, because this is doing nothing against Tempai. You know? Uh, and Trident Dragon, of course, to round off our Synchros. And for the other cards, One Sky Crisis. Uh, what's, the, what's the card called? Striker Strike Dragon. Dragon. <laughs> SP and Heavenly. Uh, honestly, uh, as far as the extra deck is concerned, I'd probably take out the Samurai Destroyer, uh, the Moonlight Dragon, uh, and that's pretty much it. Probably try to add a uh, Hida and uh, Princess, um, but that's pretty much it as far as what I think I would change from the extra deck. O overall, like I gotta say, I'm not um, uh, dissatisfied with the deck. I think the deck overall played really well. Um, the the last loss I got was a horrible misplay on my end. But besides that, honestly, I, I think the deck overall performed really, really well. Especially, again, being a new format and all. Uh, for the side deck, we played three Spooky Dogwood. The Goo! Which, in a 10-pie <laughs> deck that most uh, most duels earn uh, end in like 20 minutes, 
hindsight 2020 probably was not the best main uh, i mean side deck idea but honestly i saw this go hard in the in the live stream the day <laughs> that we were supposed to be submitting our deck list and i was like all right i gotta be put on this on this goose so we tried it out uh, i started it a few times but i actually never saw it so it is where it is uh one quiet camera this put car this card put a ton of work against shout out jerry appreciate you bro uh, this against Ubel, this against uh, Drytron, this against Voices Boys, just putting a lot of work, guys. Cards absolutely ridiculous, has to be in the side deck. Uh, additional side, we had the back row hate, of course. And then because we are playing the hand traps, we are gonna have to uh, side the three cross out designators. Uh, going first or second after this, just because the card is absolutely crazy. Uh, also in the mirror match, being able to cross out like uh, a Chandra or being able to cross out like a Roku, which just out goes really, really hard in this deck. So cross out is definitely a must. Uh, and then the cross out targets, uh, skill drain, uh, D barrier, which I drew a lot more than I wanted. But <laughs> funny enough, it did come up against ritual based decks. So that was cool. Uh, and then one rivalry, which we never cited in because we very rarely ever went first. And then when we did, it didn't really matter. So uh, that's going to be it for the deck profile, guys. Hope you guys did enjoy. Uh, we'll probably be continuing on with the vlog with day two following Jerry, man. As <laughs> one of our group who made day two. Congratulations again, bro. Um, but yeah, that's it for today, guys. And I'll catch you all tomorrow. Wait.